one of the things we're doing with VLAB is trying to come up with measures of longer run risk that we can use to make longer run decisions. We use things like stress tests for banks where we create a scenario and we say, how would the bank do under this scenario? Would it have enough capital? That's a good idea for measuring long run performance, but it's not necessarily going to be effective because it depends on whether the scenario actually stresses the thing that might go wrong. And it depends on whether it stresses it enough or too much. If it's too much of a stress, then all the banks are going to look weak. If it's too small a stress, then all the banks are going to look strong. So how much is the right amount? What we are doing is generating many scenarios for the next 50 years as to what these economic variables are going to look like. And then a company can see how profitable they would be under each of these scenarios. And if some of the scenarios have them going bankrupt, there would be a probability of being on that scenario, which is, if it's a thousand scenarios, it would be one in a thousand that they would go bankrupt. But of course, if there are 50 that they go bankrupt, then you say it's 50 in a thousand that they would go bankrupt. So you need to design your corporate strategy with this in mind. We calculate, for example, what the risk would be one day ahead, and then we do many simulations out, for example, two a year from now. And we try to see if you do these simulations using the ARCH model as the data generating process, what the worst of those really looks like. How bad could it be a year from now if the risk evolves like the ARCH model does? One of the th differences that we could focus on between the short run risk and the long run risk is that there is a new risk, and that's the risk that the risk will change. It sounds sort of hard to get your mind around, but if the risk is really constant at its level, that's one thing, but if it changes from that level, it can get worse. And how much worse can it get? It turns out you can think of the ARCH model as a way of measuring that. You can simulate what are the worst cases that you might expect for a year from now. And we have an exciting new project using the tools of finance to measure climate risk. You think of climate risk as taking 50 years before you see anything, but in the financial markets, this affects people's decisions today. So we can see the changes in asset prices that happen today as a result of people's forecast of what's gonna happen in 50 years. And I, I'm excited about this.